white allies. Allies, you have to pay. You're an ally. Wow. <laughs> so, hey, ladies and gentlemen, it's like the world is going crazy. You know me, Meat Puppet, finding interesting news as usual. And look at this freaking stuff. I, I, I just don't understand. Seattle Pride organizers apologize after raising issue with events charging white people reparation fee. Why? Why would you even do that? Why should somebody pay so you can enjoy your life? I mean, shouldn't it be more like, let's do it together. I will use my money to help you out. But the reparation, it's kind of weird, especially when you have certain people that aren't as rich as they're supposed to be if their ancestor had slaves. That's a big issue. I mean, if you want to say like, for example, the rich people or the white people are kind of gangster, you do realize that some of the old school Nigerian population and old school Indian that are really family oriented and Asian, they get rich. It, do, do, do they need reparation? No, they don't be, they're not victim of the whole situation. And I'm not saying you might need help. What I'm saying is you can't blame somebody that looked like your enemy to justify that you need to give me the money so I can feel better for myself. But you're not getting Gucci. You're just asking for more, more, more. And don't, don't come with that leftist strategy. We only ask one thing and it's Gucci. It's never enough. Two Pride Month organizers in Seattle are now apologizing to the local community after writing a letter to the city taking issue with a separate upcoming event plans to charge 10 to 50 reparation fee for white people, calling it reverse discrimination. Who decides which what is pure white people? Hmm? I have white blood, but I'm not white. But my son has black butt, but he looks white. So he is a white person? Are we, do we need to do like a DNA test? The uproar surrounding Charlotte Levrer and Philip Lipson, the directors of Capitol Hill Pride, began late last week after Seattle Human Rights Commission posted on Twitter the letter that they had sent. It has come to our attention that an event called Take Black Pride at Jimi Hendrix Public Park on June 26th is charging white only admission as reparation the prayer wrote asking the city to review the admission policy we consider this reverse discrimination and we feel we are being attacked for not supporting due to disparaging and hostile emails Ooh, i mean what did you expect if you tell a bunch of people you can go to a place because your ancestor looked like the enemy so now you have to pay you have to at least say well you have to be kind of rich to prove the point but the fact that you says all white people i don't know do you want me to use reverse sexism to solve an issue hell no no way you know why because the way you define sexism it's subjective it's too random you're just gonna pick the one that benefits you but to avoid discrimination, like said, you're going to be like, well, everything is sexist. No, you have to be, it has to be clear. So now all white people? Really? And you're surprised that you get hate email? <laughs> no, man. We will never charge admission over the color of a person's skin. And we will send being attacked for standing in those values. The Taking Black Pride event, which will feature live performance, dancing and other activities, says on its Facebook page, everybody is free to attend. However, this is a black and brown queer trans center prioritized value event. Wow. White allies. Allies. You have to pay. You're an ally. Wow. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. White allies and accomplices are welcome to attend, but will and will be charged a $10 to 15 what? Representation fee that will be used to keep the event free, of course, for the black and brown trans queer community, it adds. Okay, do you know what I find weird? I think these woke people are saying stuff they don't even believe, but how we react will justify what they're believing. So what I'm trying to say is, how can you say in this article, we will never charge admission, but at the same time say, 
White Alice and accomplice are welcome to attend but will be charged a 10 to 50 reparation fee. How can you say something like that? I'm like, leftist people, be clear what you want, even if it's exaggerated. But you ask something and then you backpedal and everybody's like, you know what? Let's just solve this and give them something and that will be Gucci. And that's what keeps happening. Let's just give them and that will be Gucci. Let's just give them and that will be Gucci. And there comes a point people are like, hey, I don't see an advantage in the long run. You told me it's free, but now you're telling me I have to pay 50. What are you doing? It's not free. It's free for the black and brown. It's not free for the white. Why do you make it such a mumbo jumbo? It's like I have to do gangster math in my hand to have a decent conversation with you. But when I try to respond, to understand your special argument, you're like, why do I get so much hatred? You're not getting hatred. People want common sense. The unique nature of your situation does not in fact violate any of your human rights as stated in the UN Declaration of Human Rights, which is, which is the charter by which our commission operates. How can that not be a violation? Black trans and queer people are among the most marginalized and persecuted people within the LGBTQIA2S plus community. They keep adding letters and we were making fun of them and they said, this is not going to happen. <clears throat> it always happens. You guys always want to add something extra. Anyway, what do you mean with you guys? Anybody on the left, you use the same strategy. They often face shame and not only from the cis heteronormative community, but within the queer community at large as well. well yes, that's true. You freaking... LGBTQ people, you guys call each other maricon 24-7. <laughs> A lot more than me. <laughs> In making the event free for black and queer community, the organizers of these events are extending a courtesy to rarely, so rarely extended by providing free and safe space to express joy, share stories and be in the community. Well, then just join the Discord. I mean, people, you, no, nah, no. Nah. Well, just do your thing, you know? But then if you want to be a queer and do your special thing or be LGBTQ, fund your own thing. Even if you're a marginalized thing, you have to fight in the negative situation and make it positive and people would respect you with time. The fact that you want to create a situation that people give you something so you can be comfortable, it's never going to happen. You can keep fighting like this and be marginalized the rest for your life. Okay. I get it. It's not fair. A lot of people have been there. I've had my own stories. But you know what? I felt much better for myself and most of my people that I know that are marginalized. Instead of kind of fighting the white people, it's just disappear and create your own community. That's it. And create and build something out of it and get the respect in a way that you can respect yourself. Not get the respect from somebody else so they have to respect you so you can respect yourself. I don't want an, uh, something outside of my reach to be giving me everything I need so I can feel confident in myself. And I know you can be yes, but they tease us everything. I know. But guess what? Girls tease me always and tell me, you're a faggot. It's not that I created the rule, but whenever I do something that girls don't like, it's like, oh, you, I guess you're gay then. But the fact that you create situations like that with a culture that normalizes calling people gay or whatever to emasculate them, which is too normalized, that should be changed because if you change that, life is Gucci. If you have a gay friend that you respect, you can't call a heterosexual cisgender gay to emasculate him because you're already using the word to, sh to uh, you, you understand what I'm saying. A lot of time I see people have a bad experience and they want to use that bad experience to justify how everybody needs to treat them. And I'm going to look at you like, uh, uh, me? No, I'm not going to do it. I'm not in that position. But you have to join. You have to be, no, 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 no. What you're trying to solve it's not how I can't or would try to solve it or how I solved it for myself when things were gangster for me. 
So the fact that you want to do it in a different way that I don't agree, it doesn't surprise me. There are more people that think like me and they're sending you hate mails. We would like to recommend, if possible, that you educate yourself on the harm it may cause Seattle's BPOC community in your pursuit of a free ticket to an event that is not expressively meant for you and your entertainment. Dude, that is so much discrimination there. That's like, it isn't meant for you. So if you want to come, you have to pay. But you have to understand that if you don't pay, the community that it's meant for can't have it for free. What are you doing? <laughs> What's happening? We sincerely want to elevate the segment of LGBTQ community, especially for black transgender women. Recognizing the important history and contribution and support in this segment of the hidden rainbow. At this time, we have requested an invitation of a meeting of hosting parties to resolve any issue and find common ground. So this party that you want to host, you want them to pay to. <laughs> I'm like, people, people, look, man, uh, I'm just laughing in the moment. But look, I understand that a lot of people are being marginalized, but also you have to be consistent. And I don't care if you want to be a Christian, gay, non-Christian or whatever. One thing that really helps in this situation is just being consistent with your action. If people can respect you because you're consistent, even if they don't like what you're saying and it's clear and easy to understand, it's easy for them to follow you. I just don't bother people when I disagree with them because I'm like, you know what? Nobody is going to help me anyway, so I better make it fun for myself. That's it. I've been doing that for so long since I was little and it works amazing. I would never expect somebody to pay for myself. I would only expect that from my wife. That's it. Because we are a team. We are a unit. We do everything together. We think about the future. I can lean on her. If you want to lean on white people to get stuff done, I'm not saying you not cannot guilt them into doing it. But whoever you guilted into doing it, I can guarantee you there's a part that really does not like you anymore. And that brings more stigma on the community itself. You consider it a possible win with those people that helped you at that moment. You need allies that understand you in the long run. So focus on how to get these allies, not in the moment. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know in the comment section if you agree or not. But hey man, I think life is very simple and very good. Especially if you can just do it on your own. Don't get me wrong. My cosa quita bon. Put a fire na mi blonde. Kush hash purple skunk. Criollo colombici jam jam. Turlo que ta verde ta welcome.